Another glorious day in the employ of Lynx. Aren't we lucky? I can hear the tension out there. Look, adversity is the forge of discipline. I get it. Punishment smarts, but you'll be better for it. Well, listen. The real people to blame anyway are the agitators. Reckon a perfectly good thing for everyone. The Union didn't take my comms privileges. No, that's true. That one's on you. We all have to take personal accountability from time to time. Well, I'm gonna go make a brew. Let's make strong decisions out there today. Yes, sir.
Morning Ship Breaker. This is your daily wake up call. Rook! It's Lou. Lynx's spam filters are the worst. You can send damn near anything through them. First, I'm fine. Life as Lynx's property sure isn't much of a life at all, but at least I'm home. It's been good to be back with my old man, and he's overjoyed. Now, here's the important thing. Lynx thinks bringing the hammer down with Clause 19C stop the union, but au contraire, it's actually pushed so many more people to their breaking point. The group's even bigger now, and we've even got the ear of the seller commission. They're reluctant to act, of course, but if enough of us make a fuss, we can make it too big for them to ignore. So, remember my idea for industrial action? The union's in. And I told them I know the perfect crew to kick it off. I've set the instructions to Weaver. Talk it out. If anyone wants to pass, I get it. Oh, one more thing. I think Kaido gave Hal access to the union news group. That's how that schmuck got my message. Silly kid. Probably feels mega guilty. I already let him know. I don't blame him. Go easy on him yourself, all right? Good luck, Ruck. Whichever way things go, I hope we get to meet for real someday. Lou out.
depressurizing. Airlock pressurizing. are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Transferred. 
salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Depressurizing. Airlock pressurizing. Processing object. Applying credits to account.
Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission wait. Cutter? <laughs> I see you uh, gotten your free prize. Kai, you here? Yes, sir. Now, Kai, I owe you an apology. All of us up here just doing what we think's right at any given point in time. I'm sorry about everything. I know, kiddo, I know. You're good, Kai. So listen, we have before us an opportunity to do what's right by Lou and every other shipbreaker out there. And I can tell you, it ain't gonna be easy. This'll bring the rap links down harder than a hippo in a hurricane. Honestly, I don't know how much worse things could get. Unless Lynx wants to can all of us. Frankly, I could use the R&R. &R. The only thing we have to worry about in the short term is Hal. And I got plans for him. If everybody's on board, that is. Screw it. I'm on board. Kai? Yeah. Yes. I want to do it. I want to make this right. Good on you, kid. Also, what's a hippo? You can't be serious. <laughs> okay, okay. That just leaves you, Cutter. Starting tomorrow, I'll arrange a certain ship to show up on your job board. It'll always be there. So when you're ready, claim it. We'll take that as our cue. Take your time and snag it when you're good and ready. Now, go on and get some rest, y'all. Weaver out. Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle.